probably missing one of these health tips when it comes to losing weight naturally, and it could be stopping you from reaching your weight loss goals. What are these tips, and how can you implement them? Well, in this video, we are going to cover the seven top tips for losing weight naturally, and what you can add to your health routine today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. And now, let's get straight into the video. Number one, tracking diet and exercise. By tracking your exercise and what you eat by counting the calories and macros. Macros are your carbohydrates, fats, and protein sources. If you can do this, you can easily see what you have from week to week. From there, if you gain weight, you can look back and see what you have done differently. You can decide if you want to increase your cardio or change up your diet if you want to lose more weight. You can always combine this with meal planning. This can include breakfast, lunch and dinner with snacks included. You can make a plan of what you are going to eat so you can stick to your diet. In addition to this, you can get healthy snacks like fruits. So if you are ever tempted by snacking, you'll be reaching for grapes instead of unhealthy choices. Although meal prepping can be a struggle when you are initially preparing a week's worth of food, you will reap all the benefits when you don't have to spend as much time throughout the week preparing a meal each night. It will be a blessing instead of doing small preparations throughout the week, which can actually use up more of your time. Number two, avoid or reduce sugar. By reducing sugar in your diet, you will have reduced the amount of dopamine released to your body, which would have caused you to crave more sugary foods and drinks, which would lead to weight gain. Sugar is also high in calories and does not have much in terms of nutritional value, like vitamins, minerals, protein, fats, and fiber so your body will be craving the nutrients it requires. This can result in you overeating because you will think the body needs more than it should if it hasn't had the nutritional content to fuel the body. Number three, intermittent fasting. I'm sure you have heard of intermittent fasting before, but what is it? Intermittent fasting is where you only eat in a certain period of time. For example, in a 24-hour day, you can choose to fast for 16 hours and only eat in a 8-hour window, or you can fast for 18 hours and only eat in a 6-hour window. This actually does twofold. When your body doesn't have food and it still needs glucose, it taps into your fat storage for energy. The second thing is that by eating in a small amount of time, it means there's a lower chance of consuming as many calories during the day, which can also lead to greater weight loss. If you think not eating for 16 hours is unbearable and you'll have to cave in to snacks, it is not as bad as you think. Normally people tend to get six to eight hours of sleep per night, so that means you only have to actively fast for eight hours. You can hold off meals till 12, and have a lunch or a brunch. Then you have your final meal at 5 or 6 p.m. with snacks in between. Then repeat the cycle. Just make sure this works for you and you can stick to it long term. Number four, drink more water. Drinking more water per day can help you lose weight. Studies have shown you should drink roughly 1.8 liters or eight cups of water per day. This can increase your metabolism because it is 100% calorie free, meaning it contains no calories. Your body needs water because your body is made up of 60% water. Also without water, your body can't metabolize stored fats or carbohydrates properly. There are many ways for you to get more water into your body. For instance, when you wake up in the morning, it is good to drink one to two glasses of water. The reasoning behind this is because when you sleep for six to eight hours, 
your body naturally becomes dehydrated. So when you do drink water in the morning, you are essentially hydrating the cells in your body, which can prevent headaches and increase energy. Number five, do some form of cardio. By doing some form of cardio at least three to five times a week, this will be a great way to burn calories and lose weight. This can help you create a caloric deficit, meaning you can burn more calories than you consume. If you are in a caloric deficit of 500 calories per day compared to what you are used to having, then you should lose half to a pound of weight per week. When it comes to what type of cardio you can do, there is a variety you can do. You can do running, cycling, swimming, or jumping rope as a means to burn calories. It is best to take the approach that best works for you. These are some of the questions you might want to ask yourself. What form of cardio do you enjoy doing? Maybe it's the Stairmaster or the elliptical machine. Then how many times a week will I be able to do this consistently? Maybe every other day. Then should I do a low form of cardio or a HIIT workout? Maybe a low form of cardio for an hour? Boom. From this, you would be on the elliptical machine for an hour every other day. Answer these questions and let me know in the comments down below. What form of cardio are you going to stick to? Number six, protein for breakfast. A high protein breakfast can help you lose weight because it reduces your cravings as it makes you feel fuller. Your body uses more calories to metabolize proteins compared to carbohydrates and fats. Metabolize is using a chemical process to change food into energy, new growth and waste products. This basically means your body uses more energy when digesting proteins, so it can help you lose more weight. It can also help you keep your muscles in the process. For breakfast, you can have things like scrambled eggs, tofu, or a protein shake. This is a great way to start your day by fueling up on protein so you won't be hungry till at least lunch. Before we get into the next point, if you want to learn about high protein foods, we actually made a video on 14 muscle building foods that can help you gain muscle with some healthy meal ideas. If you need some inspiration, just check out the link in the description below. Number seven, get enough sleep. By not getting enough sleep, it has been shown to increase your appetite and by staying awake, you are more likely to consume more calories. Having little sleep also affects your decision making and you will be less likely to stick to eating healthy foods and more likely want comfort foods that are not as healthy from the snack cupboard. The key to getting a good night's sleep is to have a daily bedtime routine. This is to prepare you both mentally and physically to say it is time for bed. Put away any electronics 30 minutes before bed. This is because watching television, scrolling on your phone or through social media emits blue light. Blue light suppresses the body's release of melatonin. Melatonin is a hormone that makes us feel drowsy. Also, you should be sleeping at the same time every night. This will train your brain to naturally feel tired at bedtime. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check the link in the description for one of the best recommendations when it comes to losing weight. Also, subscribe to the channel so we can help with health tips regularly. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.